What's good my people, it's your boy Daniel FX here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, please subscribe. Please show me some love in the comments. Um, this is episode eight, day eight of the Indice Bootcamp. I do apologize that I have, not, I have not recorded or uploaded the video in the past couple of days. I've just been incredibly busy doing a bunch of other things that are just a little bit more important. Um, this is not a major priority, but if you do want me to prioritize this a little bit more and be a little bit more frequent and consistent with them, you know what to do. Just run up the video, clip it, whatever, slap it on TikTok. Um, you can do your little part, but yeah, anyways, we're going to get into the video. Um, today's video is more of a me speaking to you guys um, about a very important subject, and you guys probably already know by the title. Now, we still have some more technical things to do, um, but really and truly, again, I've been saying this for a while, but technicals is not where it's at. It's not a major point. We are going to swing around to the technicals. We are going to continue to build off of the strategy that we've been doing in the past couple of episodes, but I think it's so much more important that you guys have a structure in your head and you actually know how you should even be approaching the technicals. Because if I give you the strategy first, and then we start moving on to some other mindset stuff and technical, like you're just gonna focus on the strategy and your main focus, and your main belief is gonna be, if I get the strategy down, if I know how to trade this, I'm gonna be profitable. And that's what messes people up in it because they're too fixated on that analysis. But if we go through this stuff first and you're forced to focus on the mindset and the, the approach to the market rather than the actual technicals, then when I give you the technicals, you're still gonna be looking at the approach and the mindset and then also the technicals is going to be another part of your trading plan. You see where I'm going with that? Um, but the first thing that we've got, yeah, so the first thing that we're going to cover in today's video is the actual journaling process, the written process of writing down your trades, whether it's a live market or a back-tested market or whatever, it's so, so important. Now, again, I know a lot of you guys probably clicked off the video or you've scrolled past it or you want to go to another technical uh, video because this is not necessarily interesting, but I promise you, this is so much more important than any other bullshit video you're going to watch on YouTube regarding smart money concepts or technicals that is not relevant. I promise you it's not relevant. Trade journaling. I know it's boring. I know it's like, it's just a long process. It's mundane. No one really likes to do it, but it's so, so important for your growth as a trader, because if you cannot remember what you've previously done, you're probably going to do a similar thing, or you're just going to go in like circles. You're not going to make active progress because you can't fathom, like you can't remember all the trades you've taken. You see what I'm saying? On a long enough time scale, you're going to start to forget previous trades you've taken, previous mistakes you've made, previous psychology things that have happened, like just on a long enough time scale, if you've been trading, you're going to forget. And that's why you keep a trading journal. So you know, okay, cool. These are the past 1000 trades I've taken. These are the past however many losses I've taken. These are the wins. These are the timings. Like you have real data, real information, real like numeric values to go off of. You see what I'm saying? Instead of guessing. And again, your main focus right now, and for a lot of you traders out there, you're still kind of treating trading as like a, like a side hustle. It's a little thing that you do on the internet. It's like e-com, like now nah, it's a whole business. You really want to treat it like a business. This is like a serious industry that you're in and you want to take it to like a professional level. And that means having data. That means having real numbers. That means having real statistics and not sitting there guessing, not, not sitting there thinking, oh, this kind of seems right. Like you see, you see where I'm going with this. Again, I don't know how clear I'm being I haven't been in front of a camera for a little while, but hopefully you guys are following along. So a trading journal really is crucial, not only to improve upon your wins, not only to have a better win rate and just understand why do I keep losing, um, but also just to understand your behavioral patterns, to understand your psychology. Now, granted, you cannot actively monitor psychology in a journal, but you can keep a track of how you're feeling and you can make connections, you can make patterns. Um, and it's a very good way for you to identify what is happening wrong in your trading. So it's the main point of improvement. Whenever anything happens in your trading journal, whether or whether or not you're on a huge winning streak, huge losing streak, you've blown the funded, you've passed the funded, you've made a payout, you've lost a pay. Doesn't matter what happens, any like eventful thing that is going to happen in your trading, the number one thing you're going to go and do is look back at your trading journal. And if you don't have a trading journal, you're going to have nothing to look back on. Pretty pretty simple, yeah. And again, this only works. This whole idea of a trading journal only works if you keep consistent with it. There's no point journaling a couple of trades here, a couple of trades there, and only journaling the wins, not the losses, and only like you need to have everything and do it the same way every time. Now, I know you guys can't fully see the screen, and I know you might be watching on your phone, but the way that I personally journal is on Google Drive. So I'm gonna quickly try and show you here. And I do apologize if it's small on your screen, but I'm gonna just point out for you how I kind of do it. So I have my trading journal right here. Now this trading journal has on a year by year basis. If you click on the actual folder that has the year, it's separated month by month. So this is on Google Drive, separated month by month. I can click on any month. So let's go to August. And then August is separated on a week by week basis. And then I can click on the week. So if I come right here, oh, I didn't actually trade in August on this account. But 
Yeah, so you click on the week and then on a week by week basis, it has a day by day and it shows me each trade that I've taken on any specific day. Now, the way that I've personally got it is I have a screenshot of the trade and just underneath the screenshot, I have a little bit of analysis explaining what I've done, how I've done it, etc. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can like actually journal. There's a couple of different ways you can store your data. I'm going to give you the three most effective ways. This is just dependent on what you want to do, whether or not you want to keep it free or you want to invest in software. It really does depend. Um, but these are the ways that are supposed to be journaling. Now, the first way, the easiest way, and it's free, is what I just showed you right here. And this is on Google Drive. You screenshot the trade you've taken. Um, and just underneath it in like a Google document, you just write a little bit of analysis why you took the trade. You can give yourself a rating out of 10 in terms of like confidence. Um, you can explain like the, the technicals behind it, session timings, etc. Just give yourself a little bit of backstory and context behind it. Because just putting in the screenshot, again, is not going to benefit you a crazy amount. Um, that's one way, but it just takes a decent amount of time for you to sit there and write it out. And it's, it's a little bit long, but it means that you can keep it free and you can keep it all organized on your own Google Drive. The second way you can do this is called video journaling. Now, video journaling is so incredibly powerful, but it does have its own unique pros and cons. Now, this is actually a major piece of game right here. Like this is major, major game. I really want you guys to like, don't, don't skip past this. If you got it on 2x speed, put it on 1x speed, <laughs> major game right here. And a lot of people are going to like that. They're, they're going to be like, mate, this is minor. They're going to overlook it, but I promise you, major game. Video journaling. Now, video journaling is the act of recording your screen as you enter a position. So again, I know you guys can't really see this right here, but in the top right of my trading view and on top right of every, everyone's trading view is a button that said, says publish. If you come up here to publish, there's a drop down menu and it comes up with record video idea. If you click that, it will then ask you to select your screen and like permission to share it. Now, if you confirm that, it will give you like a three second countdown and it will start record uh, recording your, your audio, so your, your microphone and your screen. Now, all you wanna do is when you actively enter a trade, now granted this varies a little bit for back testing, but mo mostly for a live market, when you actively enter a trade, as soon as you enter, you click record and you go through this five step plan that I'm about to teach you. Now, again, major game right here. I'm, I'm just going to say it one more time in it because I, I know this is very easy information for you to overlook. But if you can get this down and really understand the process behind it and why this is so powerful, it can really exponentially boost your trading progress. Cool. Now, a bit of backstory behind the five step plan just before I give it to you. This was given to me by my old mentor. Now, believe it or not, I once had a mentor. I was once unprofitable. I had an old mentor, some Instagram guru. His name was Luca. The guy was a bit of a nutcase, really and truly. I don't even know if he traded, but he was like, he was one hell of a salesman. He taught me a lot about mindset, about psychology. And regardless, I do owe the guy a lot, but just not really that good at trading, to be honest. But he taught me a lot of very valuable mindset stuff that I've been sharing with my students ever since. And it's just stuff that I carried with me. Now, this five-step plan is something that I got a little bit of this plan from him. And then I kind of built upon it and whatever. So I'm not claiming that it's my unique system, but... I have definitely altered this in a slight way. And this is all based upon the idea. Well, it's not an idea, it's it's just factual. But your subconscious brain picks up patterns. And again, this kind of links into the psychology session we had a couple of days ago. So if you guys haven't watched that, go and watch it. But when you think the same thoughts on a repeated basis, so when you come into the markets and you have these thoughts in this order and you do it every way, uh, every day the same way, eventually those thoughts become your like regular thought patterns and then on a long enough time scale your regular thought patterns just become your subconscious habits which means that eventually once you start approaching a chart with the same thought process in mind it becomes subconscious and you don't have to actively think you don't have to actively look for like a trade you can just see your trade you can just see your position it's just it makes sense clear and that's why a lot of traders that have been trading more than like two years in my opinion who have done a system like this you can literally open up any chart and within the first three seconds they can let you know, is my trading opportunity there? Is my, is my setup there? They may not have the exact details, but just initially you can tell. And again, I can do this. And a lot of people I know who've been trading for a while can do this. But open up any chart and within the first second, you know, okay, bad price, good price. And you can just see it there very clearly. And it's because it's all subconscious. Now, again, this concept right here links in very heavily to a book called Blink by Malcolm Gladwell. I've recommended this, I don't know how many times. Um, but I'd recommend you read it. It's all about the subconscious brain and learning to think without thinking. This is where this idea is based around, learning to think without thinking. Because eventually, if you can get your trading plan subconscious, if you can get it just back of your mind, you just know where your trade is, you know where to look for, etc. 
then you can shift your entire conscious like energy and, and thought and whatnot into just managing your emotions and managing just the trade. That's it. And that's how your trading gets a lot easier and gets a lot better over time. But anyways, to the part you guys actually want to care, um, the five step plan. Now, step number one, the most important step, arguably, is your initial thoughts. Now, this is actually a step that you do before you start recording. So before you even start recording and before you even find a position, the second you open up a new chart, I want you to make a note in the corner, buy or sell. Is it bullish or is it bearish? Now, don't sit there, don't do analysis, don't, don't look for your plan, just initial thought within the first two seconds, first millisecond, you open up a chart by yourself. Here's an example. This is the chart. Let me, say, let me switch chart. Sell. That's it. Quickly. Don't think about it by yourself. Make a note of it, write it down on the text tool, put it in a corner, and then make a note of that when you first start this little video process. So initial thoughts by yourself. And the second step in this trading plan, or in this uh, video journal plan, sorry, is Briefly, and when I say briefly, I mean briefly explain your setup. You don't have to go crazy in depth about the technicals. You may do that. It's up to you. But keep it brief in terms of how did you find this trade. Now, I'm going to give you guys an example here in a minute. But just a brief, like one sentence, two sentences. I've entered this because of X, Y, and Z. Because there's a fair value gap, price of retest the structure, and we've taken liquidity. For an example. Cool. That's your second step. Now, your third step is your stop loss placement. This is its own individual category. Stop loss placement, you can also include your take profit placement. So my stop loss is set here for this reason and my take profit is set here for this reason. So that's your three steps. So, so far, initial thoughts, buy or sell. Second thought, uh, sorry, uh, second step is why have I entered this trade? Just very brief and, uh, and analysis on it. Third is stop loss placement, take profit placement. And then fourth is your confidence and your visualization. So confidence, I want you to give yourself a rating of one to 10. 10 being 100%, this trade is hit and take profit, we're banging it, um, passing this funded today. One being, I don't even know why I entered this, 100% hit and stop loss. Five is 50-50. Uh, so give yourself a rating based off of that scale. Now visualization, before you come to enter a trade every single time, and again, none of this works without consistency, but every single time, I want you to sit there, close your eyes, and visualize how are these next couple of candles going to form? What is the next three candles going to look like? Visualize the body, visualize the wick projection, everything that goes into it. How is it going to form? Is it going to go down first and up first? Try and predict it, is what I'm saying. Now, again, do not get me twisted. I don't think you're going to sit there and just manifest the candles. Like That's not what this is about. But again, through repetition and through doing the same thing time and time and time again, trading the same instrument, trading the same trading session, all of that, you're eventually going to develop the ability within reason, obviously within reason, you're going to develop the ability to predict a couple of candles. Now, again, I don't mean you're going to have some crazy ability to predict the next candle and like manipulate price. Like, that's not what I'm talking about, but you can see a, a section of price. You can be like, yo, I've seen this so many times. Usually when this happens, price forms like this. I can see it very clearly in my head and you just get a better understanding and idea of price action. And again, these concepts right here, I can't even necessarily articulate to you how they later on transfer to your trading because it's one of those that if you haven't experienced it, you don't know what I'm talking about, but it just makes your trading so much better because it's all subconscious. And again, I really encourage you to read the book because it's going to make a lot more sense once you read the book. Um, but that is the fourth step, confidence, visualization. And then last step, step five, simply your trade management. When are you going to manage the trade? Are you going to move your stop loss to break even? Are you taking partials? How are you going to manage the position? And when are you next going to update it? Now, there is a five-step update log, and it's pretty much the same thing, and you just redo it again, and that's for your updates. Um, and that's more for intraday trading if you're holding your position for a couple of hours. If you're like on a lower time frame and it's not that deep, you can just do one video at the start, one video at the end. Pretty simple. Now, I'm going to give you guys an example right here. Um, just so you have a good idea of how you kind of want to formulate this. But bear in mind, it needs to be a short video. You don't want to have a crazy like 10 minute video. It's literally one, two minutes, just under two minutes. Um, but the most important thing about this five step journaling is you want to keep the wording the same. You need to keep the wording the same. What I mean by that is don't start off one video talking about initial thoughts on thinking buys. And then you start off the next video talking about initial thoughts on thinking bullish. Like use the same terminology, use the same words, use the same language, do it in the same order. Because again, that repetition is going to build that like that subconscious aspect of it. It's going to get there faster, if you see what I'm referring to. I'm going to give you an example right here. All right, so this is my trade right here. 
cool. So I go up to the top right, I click publish, I start recording my screen. It gives me a countdown, and as it hits zero, this is what I say. Um, granted, I'm, I'm on VIX right now, so this is not an actual real asset, but let's just say, for argument's sake, this is US 30. So I I start the video. US 30 on a 15 minute time frame. Um, initial thoughts, I'm thinking buy. I entered my trade on the rejection of a key level, and we've had a change of character after swiping liquidity. My stop loss is set just below structure, and I'm targeting a one to two, um, targeting the next structural high creation. I'm gonna shit. <clears throat> Don't know what happened there. I just coughed so hard, but yeah, sorry. I'm gonna redo that because I completely forgot where I'm at, so I do apologize. US 30, 15 minute time frame. Initial thoughts: I'm thinking buy. I've drawn my key level from here, and I'm entering because price has tapped the key levels, giving me a liquidity grab and a change of character. My stop loss is set below structure because of X, Y, and Z reasons, and I'm targeting a one to two just above previous highs. Now, I'm super confident about this trade. I'm eight out of 10 confidence rating. I'm really, really confident, and I really visualize the next couple of candles are going to be super strong engulfing candles. We're going to form the next candle is going to be a wick rejection to the downside. We're going to have a super strong sentiment closure to the upside. Now, I'm going to be updating this trade in about two hours or once trade uh, or once my trade hits this certain target or this certain alert that I've set. Um, and I'm going to be taking partials at this level and then putting my stop loss to break even at this level. Pretty simple. Again, that's just a rough guide, rough template. I, I know I'm not speaking the clearest today and I'm on a bit of a mad one, but hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about right here. And again, it's just about keeping your wording very, very similar. That's the main point. You don't have to say it exactly the way I said it. You can reformulate it. You can add in your own little thing. But just make sure that number one, it makes sense for you. And make sure number two, you keep it consistent. But again, this version of video journaling will only work if you do it on a consistent basis. If you do this version of like video journaling, and then sometimes you do the, the, the Google Drive like journaling, and then sometimes you do the third option that I'm going to tell you here in a second, then like it's just scattered and it doesn't work. And it, this only works if you only do this method and you only do this on a long enough time scale for it to actually make sense for you. You see what I'm saying? So just keep it consistent. This method is a little bit longer than obviously sitting there and doing a Google Drive, but you're going to get way more benefits from this method of like video journaling, and it's just going to make more sense for you on a shorter time frame. So I'd really, really recommend this. Um, now, there's a couple of very good benefits to this. Obviously, I've spoken about a bunch of benefits, but um, once you've done this for like, let's say 200 trades, for example, you can go back and you can look at that data and you can look at the videos and start to actually like get some numbers. For example, every time you have a trade that is less than a seven out of 10 confidence rating, you hit a stop loss or you have a increased percentage chance of hitting stop loss. Then with that data and with that actual number that you've gotten, you can start to make a minor refinement, a minor adjustment to your system and make an improvement and hopefully kind of stop taking trades that have that confidence rating. Equally, let's say whenever you visualize that you have the this specific candle that's going to form on like the next next movement for example and again you've gotten this data because you have 200 trades and 200 times that you visualize this movement and 200 times where it's had this percentage probability you see what i'm saying real numbers real figures you can actually calculate this shit there's actually there's a math there's a science behind it yeah yeah I like. I do. I do apologize about the the way this video has been uh, kind of segmented. I, I feel like I've been stuttering and tripping over my words all video, and it's not a common habit. So I, I do apologize about that. It's just been a long day. I've been up to a lot, and um, yeah, all of that, you know. Um, but yeah, anyways, the third way of you actually journaling your trades um, is Tradezilla. Now, this is not like sponsored or whatever. You can look into Tradezilla. I'm not going to bring up the software for you, um, but there's a bunch of automated softwares out there that you can pay for. It's like a subscription-based service. Um, you link your broker account to it, and it will just track all these metrics and stuff for you. Um, now, that is good and it is super beneficial, but you still don't get the same benefits as doing this because you're not going to have that repetition. You're not going to have that thought process. You're not going through those motions to build those like neural pathways in your brain and build the thought patterns. Um, so it is useful at a certain stage once you get past doing this, because I no longer do this. I'll be honest. I no, I no longer video journal because I don't need to because this is already subconscious for me. But the only way that it got subconscious and the only way that I stopped doing it is because I'd done it for so long. You see what I'm saying? So you need to serve your time with this method. And then later on, once you're making money from the markets, etc., you can reinvest it. Furthermore, it's a tax write-off, a little bit of a 
tick thing there for you. But yeah, tax write off, um, you get it, and then it just manages everything for you. You see what I'm saying? So it just is dependent. It's dependent on, on what route you want to go down. Now, there is a bunch more things that I do want to talk about on this video, but I've still got a lot of things to do, really and truly. Like, I just about found the time to uh, time today to actually sit down and record this video. And that's why I've started and done bare, like, little mistakes here, because I can't even re-record this video. I can't end it and go back and do it again, which I normally do sometimes, uh, because I've just got such a busy day. So, yeah, enjoy the raw, uncut version of this video. I am going to try to be back tomorrow for another vid, but, yeah, it's just it's a, it's a crazy week this week. Furthermore, my birthday's coming up in a couple of days, so I'm still trying to make plans. I'm, I, I don't know if I'm traveling, mate. I, I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot going on at the moment, so I'm trying my best. But again, if you guys want to help me out, if you really want me to continue with the series, if you're actually gaining value and you're, you're sitting there and you're waiting for, for the bootcamp episodes to drop, number one, let me know in the comments. And number two, run it up on TikTok. I don't know how many times I can say this. Run it up on TikTok. And now a lot of you guys are going to just disregard this, this sentence entirely, and it's fine. But for those of you who actually care, for those of you who actually want these episodes more consistent, very, very easy. Either use opus.pro, which is an AI that can cut down long form content and chop it up into uh, short term like clips for you. Literally for free, it captions it, it edits it for you. All you do is download the clips and slap it on TikTok. Or you can just find one little segment in any of the videos that it helped you out, slap it on CapCut, auto captions, slap, it's Daniel Fix in the, in the hashtag. And it will do some numbers and it will drive a little bit more traffic to the vid. That's it. But anyways, I'm not going to sit here begging for the views. But um, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. We're going to go through some more technicals on tomorrow's session. We're going to build into some of the smart money concepts and build upon that. If I'm not back tomorrow, um, then I'll just see you on episode nine. Two.